she's like this place is so expensive muslim speed dating event basically listen got the mixed platter today we're going to a nasheed concert and don't even leave me for the blink of an eye vlog here because um i have to wake up at 5 a.m so what's happening tomorrow is that i'm doing my friend's makeup because she's got a wedding to go to and she asked me to do like a makeup look so basically i'm behaving as if i am an mua so yeah that's happening we're doing a blue eyeshadow look we had a day where we planned it so she knows there's a likelihood that she will like how the look turned out so yeah wish me luck <laughs> so there's so much going on in this vlog so stay tuned because we're going to a literal nasheed concert i'm not even kidding you so stay tuned for that so early today Let's wait for this to change back. It nearly 6 a.m. and we gotta go because I'm doing my friend's makeup. This is what I packed last night and yeah, my whole house is fast asleep, not gonna lie. It's really early in the morning. Oh my god, I look crazy. Anyway, I don't know why it feels like I have to whisper, sorry. We just ended up catching up and this is all the mess that I made and this is how the look turned out. Should I become an MUA? It's 8.30 now. So I finished her makeup and um, she's getting her hair done now and I'm going home and I'm probably gonna take a nap, let's be honest. It's been a lot already. I'm tired. Okay, I'm driving home now. My mum's gonna be like, where did you go? <laughs> We came to this giant M&S. She's like, this place is so expensive. I remember I got these ones, but I can't remember which one I liked. I've been wanting to find a good a whole, a whole wheat pasta. So let's try this maybe. Yeah, it says whole wheat. This sounds cool. Maybe I can put it in, maybe I can put it in like eggs and stuff in the morning. That's actually decent. Normally, there's like four, two, four, five. There's five in there. That's really good. Does this not look so aesthetic? Look white teeth. Oh. In it goes. What is that? I've never seen it in my life. What's a green gauge? How mad. Medjool dates and dairy dates. <laughs> Mum wants to go pets at home for pet food, but I don't think she realizes how expensive it's gonna be. Yeah, they're tiny. Oh, mm -hmm. well, is that so tall? Guys, it's so hot. It genuinely feels like I'm in another country every time I leave one of these shops. We just went Audi. I know we went MS and Audi, make, make it make sense. <laughs> Kunta? Bitrani. Oh, do I have to go all the way in there? It still looks baby though. Put it down here. Oh, this is the next one. Weighs the same as my nephew. <laughs> They're like twins. Twins. <laughs> Guys, do you remember the nails that I bought from Primark in the last vlog? This is what they look like. My friend said it looks like I got them done. 
I swear these were like £2.50 jokes in it. I think Jindy likes them because I can scratch her nicely now. Do you like it, Ginge? Yeah. Ooh. What's that? What happened? Did you have an itch? Should I get it? I can get it for you. Come closer. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to include. However, I am going to a Muslim speed dating event, basically. Listen, the single gem has come to YouTube. I've been sharing a lot of this on TikTok, to be honest, and Instagram. But you now know if you don't already. Yeah, so um, I'm going on a Muslim speed dating event thing. So I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I'll let you know if I'm engaged after this. <laughs> I'm joking. Obviously, it doesn't happen that quick, quickly. I know they said speed, but I don't think they meant like to that extent. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll find out. I just finished getting ready on TikTok Live and um today we're going to a nasheed concert which i have to say yeah it does seem very odd to be honest i've never really heard it heard, heard of it before but basically there's this guy that i was listening to during ramadan and that's who we're gonna go see today i will try my best to vlog 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 i think that's at six it's literally like it's 12 right now we need to leave the house because i have to go fuel up because we've got a lot of driving to do we're gonna go pick up my friend from one side of london and then we're gonna drive to the other side of london eat then we're gonna go to the concert okay so we've got a whole thing to do right now seriously i transferred over to this little bag because i can wear it around myself it will be easier let me give you a little update so we're in london now i'm picking up my friend and then we're gonna go to um a restaurant together um all i had was one egg and a couple of chips and a cup of tea but i'm not like crazy hungry i'm not gonna lie i feel okay oh wait i did want to tell you about yesterday not yesterday but like a few days ago actually but um the the speed dating thing i would say like say for example the only way i can give you a visualization is this way i'm not being rude but basically all the mandem that turned up were what do you call it like guys that you would press x to on dating apps um yeah all, on all the like Muz and Hinge or whatever else um, all the ones you skip and press X take that as you will there was one guy I literally started coaching him on how to speak to women I was like okay so the next girl that you go to I literally was like to him make sure you ask her questions women like that treat her like she's your friend and he was like he finds it really hard to speak to women and stuff so like, just see her as your friend and then you can embark on something else do you know what I mean just ask her questions and if she asks you a question you say what about you so he goes what about you and I was like exactly <laughs> I just literally like just started teaching them on how to speak to women no word of a lie like yeah so that's how that went there we go that's the update we have arrived at our location Ooh. this is the menu I think we're gonna do mixed platter and I'll show you the rest but this is the menu and look at the place. It's actually really nice. Really pretty. Yeah. Oh, we got the mixed platter. I forgot what is on it. I think these are satay chickens, prawn toast, dumplings. Can't remember what's in it. Everything is halal though. These look like prawns. No idea. Probably vegetable. I think that's spring roll. Chicken spring roll. Green curry is here and so is the sticky rice. You got given balloons, and it says <laughs> charity on it.
I mean, that said five minutes and then now it says two minutes, 53, really quickly. My name is Wasim and it gives me great pleasure to welcome you today to this event put together by 26 Makkah Records in collaboration with Salam Charity as well. And we'll do that with the greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Takbir! 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 Let's go! Sallallahu alayhi Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi Muhammad. Make some noise for Sayyid Takbir! Because, you know, this is a, such a, a special event for all of us artists over here today. Um, this event was planned so spontaneously and, you know, over these last few weeks. And all of you guys over here, you know, uh, humble the show was sold out. So thank you guys so much for coming out. It means a lot to us artists over here. Some, some artists, it's very easy for them to write these, like, you know, emotions about, about happiness, about joy. For some reason, for me, I always connect, I always like writing about those emotions, about the trials, the tribulations in life. It's just something that, um, you know, that, that's something that flows a bit easy for me. And for this next track, it's also something that kind of connects with this as well, in a way. Um, this next track I actually wrote in London, in the in UK, in the UK. My desires, my life's in chaos and disorder. Y'all not protect me from the fire. I'm falling, falling, calling out to you. Calling, calling, calling out to you. Oh, how it's so easy to see miracles when we believe. Like how this world spins around, but we stand still here on the ground. And this, no, this one is called Back to You. Before we begin, Back to you. You guys, I think, know the routine. I need you guys to repeat this after me, okay? I say it once, you guys repeat. Allahumma inni asalukil huda. Your turn. Allahumma inni asalukil huda. Wa tuqa wa afafa wa lukhina. That was okay. You know, I, out of 10, I think I'd give you guys maybe a solid like three or four. <laughs> I think you can, can you guys do better than that? Yeah. Let's try this again. Allahumma inni asanukil huda. Much better. I'm grateful for much my life. 
I wasn't faithful for all this time. I feel ashamed, Lord, for the things I've done. So now I'm calling you this time. Cause I haven't had peace in so long and I could see you go on, but This life, now I'll follow this path till the end of my time. Oh, cause my heart couldn't see all the truth of this life. I was caught in this world with a scene on my eyes. Then Allah, you showed me all the truth of this life. Now I'll follow this path till the end of my time. Allahumma. Um, I want to explain this du'a. This du'a is such a beautiful supplication to know if you guys don't already know it. And don't even leave me for the blink of an eye. So no matter what, ever, if you're ever going through hard times, this is such a beautiful du'a to know. Let's kick it off. This one's Allahumma. I'd love it if each and every one of you joined along. This is a, this is a du'a after all. Be beautiful. Thank you. Allahumma Yes, hello guys, Saeed, sorry, Saeed was amazing, he was phenomenal, this was fantastic, we're halfway through now and um, the next one, the next person that's going on stage is going to be Safe Adam. So yeah, we're waiting for that. No idea why they gave us these balloons. I feel like we're going to be polluting the earth today. I keep saying that. We are. <laughs> Ready to sing the lead? Let's sing together. This will last. Forgive me. 
watching us, counting the goodies that we bring. Make sure you're keeping the balance, make sure the good outweighs your sins. Mike's Googling it right now. <laughs> uh, favorite Nasheed. I'm just trying to think of one that I grew up listening to. Um, I, I know this, there's this, have you guys heard of Zane because Allah knows? Yeah, I remember growing up to it, it, was, it just always connected with me. Maybe that's why I write sad songs, you know, from, <laughs> from because of that one. Um, Saeed knows this, one of my favorite Nasheeds is uh, one of his tracks called Little Things. He didn't perform it tonight, but, <laughs> that. but that's one of my favorite, and uh, I'm actually a firm favorite on Lano's as well. Uh, it's, it's a nice Nasheed, yeah. I would say, to be honest, um, my like first ever Nasheed I listened to, which is kind of funny, but um, I would say then it was Muslim Bilal, Like a Soldier. Um, but now it's, it's definitely Forgive Me by Saeed. Oh, don't try. Okay, next question. It's, um, it's the best thing to do. Can you show us some Taekwondo on safe? <laughs> um, okay, final question. Okay. Yeah. what's happening but I think we're going on stage look what's going this is behind the scenes this is what it looks like should we go on stage okay this is what the stage looks like hi <laughs> can you tell everyone to subscribe uh subscribe to the channel please yeah <laughs> what <laughs> in unison guys one two three subscribe Guys, I'm home now. Oh my god, I'm so tired. It's like almost 11 now. But anyways, let me give you a quick lowdown of how the event went. First of all, Saeed is amazing. Like his voice in person was phenomenal. Hands down, that amount of time that he had, it went so quickly. Really enjoyed that bit. Safe was decent as well. I never really knew of him before, but his um, he was decent towards the end. The first few songs, it just seemed like he was singing towards the kids. Um, and I just couldn't relate i guess i just feel like saeed is so much more like relatable and easy to connect to in my personal opinion and also because it's like about religion like it just feels so much more personal so there was like a charity there i think it was called salam charity or something do you guys remember the mufti menk vlog okay you know how he was there for like five seconds and the whole thing was like charity this was the opposite and I really liked that and I appreciated that because majority of it was the artists singing their piece, like connecting to the songs, to the audience, God, all of that stuff. There was like an intermission bit where they were raising money for charity. There was a bit at the end where they did it as well. And I respect that. I think they handled that really well. Cons, I would say it was meant to be a segregated event and... I don't see where the segregation was personally. They sat all of the men and the children at the front. And honestly, it felt like Legoland. Do you know what I mean? I feel like they really, it, oh, I don't know. I didn't think it was gonna be like a show for children, but that's what it felt like. I wish they just kept everyone with their families and like let anyone sit wherever. Because as you guys saw, there was a meet and greet towards the end. Where's the segregation? There was no segregation 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 like there were men sitting like on the panels of the sides um on the same level as us um it was just like a reserved area it wasn't segregated when we first got to the venue we sat in the middle um and it was like closer towards the front because those seats were empty and we weren't assigned any seats or anything so we went and sat down and um they told us to move because those seats were were for the men like the men had to sit at the front and it just seemed silly this one wasn't even segregated all the staff were mixing they were all talking to each other the boys and the girls they were all talking to each other there was a charity there like i mentioned every man woman was chatting to each other like all of them all of them there was no segregation like what was the point of even doing that if you're gonna do segregation do it properly or don't do it at all but that's just my opinion so those are really the only two cons i had that there was just a 
bunch of kids at the front and it was just like this weird thing with kids v adults and i'm just like am i on a mr beast show like what's going on it just felt like a scene out of legoland like i don't i don't i don't know about that otherwise honestly best muslamic type of event i've been to dare i say it was, I mean, it was much better than Mufti Mank, let's, let's be real. I would go again. It was fantastic. I enjoyed it overall. They need to make a few improvements, but I guess, I don't think that they've done many of these. So I assume it's going to get better and better as they carry on doing it. And to be fair, and two cons isn't the end of the world. But otherwise, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty cool. His songs literally carried me through Ramadan and it was really nice hearing them in person and he sounds exactly the same. Seriously. Fantastic. Really enjoyed that. Um, the guy at the start, I didn't really know him so that's why there's not really a lot of footage of him i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to subscribe guys subscribe 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 guys and follow me on instagram on snapchat on tiktok all that good stuff and i'll see you guys next time bye